Okay, Chris, with a minute 30 on the clock, yes. we have to see how many weather puns we can fit into a national forecast. Ah, the old cliches. Yes. All right, where do you want to start? How do you, how many do you think we can get? I think we can get, uh, I think we can get about five or six. I'm going 10. All right. Let's do it. We're on the clock. All right, Atlantic Canada, what is our forecast? Well, we've got a bit of sun, we've got a bit of rain, a bit of snow, a bit of wind. You might say we've got a mixed bag of uh, precipitation and weather happening today. Well, at least with the rain, you don't have to shovel it, right? True enough. Now, as we head over towards Ontario, it's not exactly snowmageddon, but there is some, uh, a fair amount of the white stuff falling and flying around. <laughs> Maybe you could say it might almost be like a little bit of a winter wonderland through the Bruce Peninsula. Absolutely. Now, you head up towards the territories and no Nobody's going to be saying, is it hot enough for you? Not with core temperatures in the minus 40s with wind chills in the minus 50s and 60s. But you know what? Across the Prairie Provinces, mm. you're going to want to hold on to your hat because that wind is going to be gusty today. And you know what they say, it's not actually the temperature, it's the wind chill. All right. And why do we have this? It's because we have the clash of the titans in terms of the air mass. Cold air from Hudson Bay, warm air from the Pacific Ocean. And this is going to turn things into a snowzilla there for you across Saskatchewan. We're talking winter whiteout territory here. Yes. Uh, okay, across the west, it's yes. going to be chilly, but it's going to be a dry cold. Yeah, and a break from the super soaking rains as well. Won't be a super soaker across British Columbia, and we couldn't end this segment without a return visit from the polar vortex. Oh, yes, everybody's favorite when no one understands exactly what it means.